Hello everyone and welcome to another Scholar Box unboxing and challenge. Today we are doing October's box. Canada Post was having some issues, so we're a little behind, but that's fine. Let's just get into this box. All right, we've got our supplies. We've got candy flying out. So this is our print and the artist with some tips on the back. And oh gosh, the paper is very textured and two different tones. So I'm curious to see what we're working with. I think it might be pencils. But first, our candy. We've got, mmm, menthol. All right, let's just get into it. Oh no, something went flying. See what happens when I try to be funny? when I'm not funny. I just wanted to try a new unboxing technique. Anyways, so the first thing that kind of flew out there was this Derwent Pastel pencil sharpener. Oh boy. Look, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared. We've got our list of supplies here. All right, so it is pencils. We've got Derwent Light Fast Pencils. These are oil-based pencils, and I have to say I really like the colors. We've also got this Stadler HB pencil with eraser. And last, this Sakura Koi Coloring Brush Pen Blender. Oh, you can blend pencils? Okay, now I'm interested. And the paper is impossible to say. Han Mule Bugra Button A5 Paper. Excuse me. All right, let's look at this month's challenge, Wash to Shore. All right, here we go. Let's try these and uh, get into it. All right, let's do some swatching. I wanna try these little dudes out. These little dudes out. Before I start working on the challenge and creating an art, an art, wow, what is, let's just try some supplies. All right, first we've got, we've got black. Feels like a pencil. All right, next up we've got champagne. Oh, you can barely see this on this champagne colored paper. All right, next is wheat. All right, wheat is slightly less yellow than champagne. Yellow ochre. That's a nice yellow color. I really like sort of browny, yellowy, mustardy yellow colors. Next up is sandstone. I couldn't think for a second. A nice browny yellow. And last we've got mid ultramarine. This is like the blue color I use for my channel. Maybe I should draw myself. Be all self-centered. All right, uh, I don't know. This pencil feels like a a pencil. Oh, let's see how it erases. Classic Casey. All right, it, it erases, I guess. Oh, it's smearing. Oh, goodness. Whoa, whoa. That's not, that's not ideal. Let's see how these guys blend with the coloring brush pen. It's water-based, so it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me for these are oil-based pencils, but you know, <laughs> Scholar Box would never do us wrong, right? Ew. <laughs> I just noticed it's tearing up the paper, so that's fun. It's like a Posca pen. And it's doing nothing. Hmm. It's just pilling the paper. This is disgusting. I mean, it smears the regular pencil pretty all right. For some... Oh my gosh, bye! Oh wow. Okay, uh, should we test that sharpener? I'm very anxious to see if this bad boy sharpens. Here we go, here we go. Wow, look at that, look at that. Can you believe it? All right, so I don't know how we're going to blend these colors, um, but yeah, let's uh, let's do a, a colored pencil drawing. Here we go. All right, so let's draw a little kid. Um, and maybe that kid is seeing something washed ashore that's really surprising to them. One tooth, classic. Classic child, am I right, guys? All right, so we're gonna make this little, little chunky kid because they're like very young. It's a little baby boy or something. We gotta give him some hair though, let's see. I wanna give him a bowl cut. That's like a Casey Golden Classic is giving children bowl cuts. I don't know why. Why do I, why do I always do bowl cuts? You know, I wish, I wish I had the answer to that question, but I super don't. I think bull cuts look a lot cuter in illustrated form than they do real form. You gotta be a special someone to, uh, to pull a bull cut off, I think. All right, let's see, what's this kid gonna see? Did a few sketches, maybe, maybe I did a few sketches off a of camera. Off a of camera. So something I was thinking about doing was getting real political up in here. 
So we could have like a bottle. So wash to shore, like garbo, like trash, wash to shore. I guess really trash. Hmm. Basically, we're going to have a little squid or octopus guy who is stuck in a bottle because of, uh, you know, littering and stuff. And he's like stuck in this bottle. Isn't that funny? Littering? That's sarcasm, by the way. I don't think littering's funny. He's like, help, get me out of this bottle, I'm stuck. Oh my goodness, this is actually kind of sad. I'm sorry, everybody. And then just to add a little something extra, we'll just put some little shells and stuff, you know, in case you couldn't tell that they're on the beach. You know what I haven't done? I haven't tested actually using these pencils on an illustration except for that little swatch test I did. So I'm just gonna lighten up these pencils because I don't really trust that this pencil is going to, I don't know, not be seen once I try to start putting color on. Let's start with their bowl cut. Who doesn't want to start off with the bowl cut? You know what I don't like? And I'm sure you guys, I mean, know this with all the complaining I do every time. I don't like colored pencils. I don't like watercolor pencils. I don't like colored pencils. But I'm going to give this scroller box the old try and we're gonna we're gonna like pencils today or at least I'm gonna try <laughs> let's define this bowl cut just a little bit more let's give that bowl cut some shadow I guess I'll line it I don't know I didn't really think this much through I was gonna do a like a lineless style but I guess I'm I guess I'm going for it I'll admit it's kind of nice looking maybe this is something I could learn to like I really, I bought some colored pencils to put details into my watercolors, but I've never actually sat down and just did a colored pencil illustration as is. So maybe, maybe I just really got to give it, give it a chance. I don't know, I gave this kid a mouth, but there's no pink or anything. Hmm. We'll figure it out. I feel like this color is so light. I don't even know what I'm doing. What's the point? Now, what's this color look like? Is this like a shading color? It's not very dark. It's it's so similar. Champagne and this wheat color. They're just so similar. Oh no, I should have colored his legs first. I'm afraid this is gonna smear the black around. Let's just see what happens. I think the worst smearing I'm getting is from that dang uh, under pencil that I'm using. The old Strathmore Tradition HB pencil with eraser. I feel like I don't have a lot to say about this. I feel like I'm just kind of you know, I'm just kind of enjoying it. Just drawing this kid in his swimsuit, looking at this creature walk across the sand. I don't really have any strong opinions about this. I know that, you know, colored pencils are for some people. They're just not for me. But, like I said, I, I don't know. Maybe they're growing on me. Maybe, maybe they're ding ding growing on me. We'll put some black in there and in some of the darker places, I guess. Aw, I don't want to give him freckles now. I think he needs freckles. Oh, he's cute! Okay, you know what he needs though? He needs some blue striped swimming trunks. I gotta keep this on brand. Blue stripes only on my channel. Haven't touched this thing. Uh, I think I'm just, uh, I think I'm just going to avoid it. Don't trust it. Okay, so let's get in on our little, um, what do I call it? An octopus? One thing that pencils don't do for me is that I'm really heavy handed. I press down really hard with my art supplies and I, I try not to, but it happens. So as you can imagine, pencils just break right and left for me. It's, it's not a good situation. I press down like, I don't even know what's wrong with me. I really like the colors in this color set. I just wish there was some sort of pink or red something that's okay you know we're, we're gonna make it we're gonna make it through all right we're just gonna add some gradiented shading in there let's see I'm gonna add a little bit of black just to exaggerate the dark bits the one thing I will say about working with colored pencils is I do like how you can use a really textured paper that's one thing I really like about using watercolors is that you get these really cool textures with the paper something that I think you can replicate through digital art, but it's just not the same when you're just putting the texture over your work. So the same thing with colored pencils is that you can get some really cool textures in there, but that's only if I really want the texture. Sometimes I just really want 
really smooth flat. Okay, let's color the sand a little bit. I think the sand definitely needs to be colored. Or at least we've got a little silhouette of sand where they're standing. All right, we'll just go in and add some shadow. This really does remind me of some sort of illustrated children's book style or something. Something that I really probably should be playing around with. I think it'd be really fun to incorporate in the future since you know, illustrating books is something that I want to do. This definitely looks like we could be in a book. This little illustration. It's so cute. All right, honestly, I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. I think it's really cute. It's not my usual style, but I think there's, there's a certain charm to using colored pencils to color things in like this. Like I said, I think it just reminds me of some sort of children's book illustration. I don't know what exactly, but I'm definitely getting the feeling of that. So I do like it. I think I should play around with colored pencils a lot more in the future. Definitely something to think about. I just keep working on it. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed my little sad octopus guy stuck in a bottle. Got all washed up looking for help. We got some starfish and shells. Oh my gosh, I keep working on it. Does that mean I actually like it if I keep working on it? Hold on, y'all. I think I wanted to give it a sky here. Oh no. You know I can't resist giving them a silhouette of a sky. I think it would really bring this one together, especially. All right. We've got our coloring cut out for us, so here we go. Hold up. You know we have to add birds in the background. Classic birds. Yes! Okay, this actually might be the happiest I've been with a scrawler box uh, ever. Like, I think this is actually pretty dang adorable and I really like it. You guys, what happened to me? Who am I? I don't even know anymore. Well, I hope you enjoyed my little scrawler box doodle with colored pencils. I really think I might have to explore colored pencils in the future, maybe in an upcoming prompt, who knows? All I know is that I actually really enjoyed these colored pencils when I didn't think I was going to. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.